Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Arka, Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going into the importance of supplication. Okay, the importance of it. Because it's very, very important to understand what supplication means when you talk about dealing with your how by Shimon how shy. And your supplication comes through your prayer, man, fervent prayer. So let's go into the Google definition of supplication. The action of asking or begging, you hear that? Begging for something earnestly or humbly. Now there's a prophecy, there's a scripture that talks about when we gather up the kings of the world and we bring them before us in chains, okay, and they're going to bow down before us pleading with supplication, okay, meaning they're begging for something, they're begging for their life, pleading. Well, we have to plead and beg for eternal life. That's what we have to do, okay, through faith and trust. All right, that's what we got to do. So let's read it again. Supplication. The action of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly. Right. And it says here in quotations, an example, he fell to his knees in supplication. Right, man. He was very serious, very passionate, begging, pleading. Okay. So that's how we have to be. All right, that's the importance of supplication. Now, when you go back to Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8, I want to read this again. There's a point I want to make. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. So the prayer of the believers is Yahabah Shemashah's delight. Okay, so how much more delightful he will be in your prayer if you're passionate. If you're earnestly praying, man, okay, giving up supplication, being serious, begging, okay, you want it that bad. So you got to want it, man. He wants to see, do you really want this? I'm calling you to the kingdom, but do you really want it? That's when you tap into supplication, okay, to your God, to your power. All right. Let's go to Sirach chapter 18. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and start at verse 20. Before judgment, examine thyself. So you got to examine this, man. Okay. Are you passionate with your prayer? Are you taking up to another level? Okay. With your supplication? Do you really want this? Are you pleading to your power? Okay. Every day you have an opportunity to do that. Every day. You have an opportunity where you can take out some time. Okay. And get real on that level with your prayer. And supplication to your how about Shim how shy, man. Okay, so let's read it again. Before judgment, examine thyself, and in a day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in times of sins show repentance. Right, man. You're supposed to show repentance and pray to your power with supplication, man. You're supposed to beg for forgiveness for the things you do, man. You're supposed to beg and plead for the things you want in the spirit. And be serious about it, man. Not all nonchalant like, uh, if you give it to me, do uh, No, man. You're supposed to be very, very, very serious with this. Okay? Verse 22. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not unto death to be justified. Before thy prayers, prepare thyself. And be not as one that tempt the Lord. Right, man. Okay, it says, prepare yourself, man. How serious are you going to be? See, when you prepare yourself before you pray, you're getting into the very serious, serious zone, mind frame of what you're asking for, what you're pleading for. Okay, and you're getting your faith ready, man. You ain't coming to the table wishy-washy and wavery. You know it talks about a wavery mind. You shall not get nothing from your how about your mouth shy with a wavery mind. Okay, you got to be very, very, very serious. All right? Let's go to verse 24. Think upon the wrath that should be at the end 
in a time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. So you see what it said there? It brought that up right after we talked about prayer, being humble, showing repentance, okay, paying your vow in due time, all right, preparing yourself. Then it goes, think upon the wrath that shall be at the end in a time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. Right, man. And that time of vengeance is going to be out of this world. Okay, so shouldn't you be begging for your life? Shouldn't you be pleading for the spirit, for more of the spirit, earnestly, daily? Okay, that's very, very important. We got many things to distract us in this life. Many things. Daily. Okay, many things. So we all have to come up on a whole nother level, including myself. We all have to come up on a whole nother level with how we deal with Yahweh Shema Rashad, with prayer. Okay, pleading. All right, you may want to fast and pray and then pray again and pray again. You might pray all day. You might fast and pray all day and plead all day for one thing. Nothing wrong with that. That shows seriousness. That shows you ain't playing. Think about that. You fasting in all sincerity. You got faith. You believe in your Habba Shema Rashad. And you praying all day. How you think your Habba Shema Rashad going to look at that? Think about that, man. Just think about it. All right? Let's go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Right. You hear that? Let's read it again. Be careful for nothing. Like I just said, man, we got all these distractions. We live in the valley of the shadow of death. We live in hell. Okay? We live in hell. That's the point. Period, man. You can't. <laughs> That's the facts. So the only bright spot we have is your how about your shy. Nothing else. All right? So it says, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. So it's putting that together, okay? With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto your how about Shimei Haushai. Right, man. Plead, supplication, okay? You're begging for something. You really want something. You're not all nonchalant, like, oh, Lord, no, 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 no. That weak, you know, timid. No, you're supposed to be passionate. Your how about Shimei Haushai? likes passionate when you're dealing with them period man because he gave you this wonderful gift he gave you the mysteries okay you think that was uh no that was passionate that was a passionate gift all right just want to throw that out there okay let's go to james chapter 5 verse 16 confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed the effectual fervent prayer, you hear that? Effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Right, man. Pierce right through the sky. Okay, why? Because it's passionate and it's serious. Okay, we talking about fervent, man. That's that fervent heat, man. You ain't playing. You praying for real, man. Okay? You praying for real, man. Supplication. You see that? Let's go to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Right, man. So you got to take it seriously. Take it very, very seriously. Okay. Let's jump to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. And that's what it means, man. Okay. Take it to another level. We at the end, man. Okay. We got to grow in that. Our prayers and how we deal with Yahweh Shema Washah has to come up on another level. Okay. Let me end it on this. Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And you want to abide under the shadow, that protection from the heat, okay, from judgment, okay, and to be able to dwell in that secret place and to feel safe in that secret place, one way, okay, to feel safer, man, 
is to be more into praying and more into supplication to Yahweh Shemah with faith and trust that he will answer you. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Arka Kordash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.